I'm giving you help with assignment 121, scientific notation. There are two skills here. One is being able to deal with scientific notation using your brain, no calculator. And the other is to be able to understand and use a calculator to do scientific notation. Let me first introduce the concept of scientific notation. You are trying to represent very large and very small numbers using powers of 10. So for example, I could write 3000, which would be easily understood, or I could write 3 times 10 to the third power. In order to do this well, you have to understand 10 to the first is 10, 10 to the second is 100, 10 to the third is 1000, so these are powers of 10. If I have 3,000, I have three of these. I have three times 10 to the third power. If I happen to have a very large number, let's just say 7, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, I need to be able to count where does the decimal place go. So here, if the decimal place starts here, and I want to express this in scientific notation, I need to move that decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 places. So this number here, this large number, becomes 7.5 times 10 to the ninth in scientific notation. The first number here in scientific notation is greater than or equal to 1 less than 10. So it has to be a single digit number. It can have numbers after the decimal place. Scientific notation is also useful when you have very small numbers, like 0.00000017. So once again, I can count how many times I move the decimal to get it between the 1 and the 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8, this small number here. Some of you have this type of calculator, the TI-30. It may look like this. It may be a different color, but it is. they function the same. I'll just use this one here as my example. On this type of calculator, the button to press for scientific notation is here, EE. -E. It's above the number 7. It's in a different color. I need to use the second function to access this scientific notation. If I'm doing 8 times 10 to the ninth, I'll press the number 8. I will not press times. I will simply use the EE -E function. You'll notice an E appears on the screen. It's asking me what is the exponent on the 10. It's 8 times 10 to the ninth. That on the calculator is 8 times 10 to the ninth. If I hit enter, it may show me 8 times 10 to the ninth with all the zeros. If I take that number and multiply it by 1000, the number won't fit on the screen anymore. So it tells me in the corner that 8 times 10 to the ninth times 1000 is 8 times 10 to the 12th. I'll zoom in to, see, to show you that. 8 times 10 to the 12th in fine print. Here I'll try a very small number, uh, 5.2 times 10 to the minus 12. Once again, don't press the X, use the EE -E key. Now the exponent, negative 12. Here's the negative down here. Here's the 12. That is 5 times 10 to the minus 12. It says so here in the corner. If I divide that by 84, I'll get an answer in scientific notation. If I just pay attention to 6.19, I'm missing the very important part over here, times 10 to the minus 14. So I'm hoping I've taught you enough that you can complete this without a calculator, and then do this little exercise here on the bottom with a calculator.